spam, 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 <laughs> spam, 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 spam. Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to some more Monty Python. I'm going to be reacting to the four Yorkshiremen and spam. Apparently these are some of the funniest Monty Python sketches, so my expectations are high. To be fair, Monty Python is just generally hilarious. I've reacted to a bunch of their stuff already. If you want to see more of those, I have a playlist devoted to my Monty Python reactions. I'll post the link to that down below. I'm going to start with the four Yorkshire men. And it is Yorkshire, right? You don't really say the Shire. It's not Yorkshire, it's Yorkshire. I've been in England long enough to know how to pronounce place names, guys. Just saying. <laughs> Let's just get started. Very possible, this way. Eh? Very possible. All right. All right. All right. A good glass of chateau de chateau eh, Josiah? Ah, oh, you're right there, Obadiah. All right. Who would have thought, 30 years ago, we'd all be sitting here drinking chateau de chateau eh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> them days, we're glad to have the price of a cup of tea. All right, a cup of cold tea. What? Without milk or sugar. Or tea. <laughs> In a cracked cup and all. <laughs> oh, we never used to have a cup. We used to have to drink out of a roll-up newspaper. <laughs> The best we could manage was to suck on a piece of damp cloth. But, but you know, we were happy in those days, although we were poor. Because we were poor. Aye. My old dad used to say to me, money doesn't bring you happiness, son. He was right. Aye. I was happier then and I had nothing. We used to live in this tiny old tumble-down house with great big holes in the roof. <laughs> house? You were lucky to live in a house. We used to live in one room, all 26 of us, no furniture, half the floor was missing. We're all huddled together in one corner for fear of falling. <laughs> you were lucky to have a room. We used to have to live in the corridor. Oh, we used to dream of living in a corridor. <laughs> Would have been a palace to us. We used to live in an old water tank on a rubbish tip. We got woke up every morning by having a load of rotting fish dumped all over us. House <laughs> Well, when I say house, it was just a hole in the ground covered by a sheet of tarpaulin. But it was a house to us. We were evicted from our hole in the ground. <laughs> we had to go and live in a lake. <laughs> you were lucky to have a lake. There were 150 of us living in a shoebox in the middle of the road. <laughs> Cardboard box. Aye. You were lucky. <laughs> we lived for three months in a rolled up newspaper in a septic tank. <laughs> You used to have to get up every morning at six o'clock and clean the newspaper, go to work down the mill, 14 hours a day, week in, week out, for six months a week. And when we got home, our dad would thrash us to sleep with his belt. <laughs> Luxury. <laughs> we used to have to get out of the lake at three o'clock in the morning, clean the lake, eat a handful of hot gravel, work 20 hours a day at mill for twopence a month, come home and dad would beat us around the head and neck with a broken bottle if we were lucky. <laughs> Well, of course, we had it tough. We used to have to get them out of the shoebox in the middle of the night and lick the road clean with our tongues. <laughs> we had to eat half a handful of freezing cold gravel, work 24 hours of that milk for four months every six years, and when we got home, our dad would slice us in two with a bread knife. <laughs> right. I had to get up in the morning at 10 o'clock at night, half an hour before I went to bed. Eat a lump of cold poison, work 29 hours a day down mill and pay mill on for permission to come to work. And when we got home, our dad would kill us and dance about in our grave singing a little bit. Oh. <laughs> and you try and tell the young people of today that, and they won't believe you. No, oh. they won't. <laughs> oh my god. That's a pour off, that is. That is a pour off. <laughs> Also, things never change when it comes to generations. They're like, oh, we had it so tough. You guys have it so easy. My generation had it worse off than you did. <laughs> the older generation always thinks they had it worse than the younger generation. Doesn't matter what generation it is. It's just, it's just always, um, it's just always the case. So I, I just think that's funny. Now I'm going to watch Spam. Spam, spam, thank you, ma'am. I don't know where my head is tonight. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Morning. <laughs> Morning! What you got then? Well, there's egg and bacon, uh, egg sausage and bacon, egg and spam, egg bacon and spam, egg bacon sausage and spam, spam bacon sausage and spam, spam egg spam, spam, spam bacon and spam, spam 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 egg and spam, spam 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 
spam, 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 <laughs> baked beans, spam, 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 and spam. <laughs> oh, lobster thermidor, crevettes with a mornay sauce, garnished with truffle, pate, brandy, and a fried egg of and spam. <laughs> and we want anything without spam in it. Well, spam, egg, sausage, and spam. There's not got much spam in it. I don't want any spam. Why can't you have egg, bacon, spam, and sausage? That's got spam in it. Not as much as spam, egg, sausage, and spam. <laughs> Look, could I have? Egg, bacon, spam and sausage without the spam. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, I don't like spam. Spam, 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 Spam. I love it. I'm having spam, 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 baked beans, spam, spam, and spam. Baked beans are off. Well, can I have spam instead? You mean spam, 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 spam. Honey bun, my lower intestine is full of spam, egg, spam, bacon, spam, tomato, spam, spam, spam. That's my nipple. Another great Viking victory was at the Green Midget Cafe in Bromley. <laughs> Once again, the Viking strategy was the same. They sailed from these fjords here, assembled at Trondheim, and waited for the strong northeasterly winds to blow their oaken galleys to England, whence they sailed on May the 23rd. Once in Bromley, they assembled in the Green Midget Cafe. And Spam, selecting a Spam particular Spam item from the Spam menu, would Spam, 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 just made everything better oh my god uh what did i just watch genuine question <laughs> it's so random i love it oh my too far thought always puts me in a good mood oh genius so funny <laughs> anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the reaction before i go i just want to quickly shout out my patrons thanks to my patrons for supporting me my patreon is my members only site where you get benefits such as early access to my videos and my complete unedited uncensored reaction videos and patron shout outs if you're a top tier patron so thank you to joseph brian reese kane robin andy hypno bob chris emil julian steve o patrick lloyd sean danny mark city 10 hi chris 1980 rg steve and bud thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.